What's going on, Legion of Zen? We're back with another episode. We are going to be opening up some Chilling Rain. Guys, we have an Elite Trainer box. This is from the Pokemon Center. Now, some of you may know that these uh, turned out to be error boxes, but we are going to open it up because there was a slight situation with this particular ETB. Uh, they, uh, you know, they put it in the box and they sent it over and it is a little bit opened up. It is sliced open here. Looks like probably some damage from shipping. Not a huge deal. I was planning on opening up a couple of these anyways. They just made my life easier in picking which one I was going to open. But we are going to get into it, guys. Let's, let's get into this ETB. Very easy to open for me here. Um... You know, I, I don't think that uh, this got, you know, people, anybody got into it or anything like that. It, it looks like it was just damaged during uh, during the shipping process there. Not a huge deal. But we are going to have some fun with an ETB. Uh, here we go. We got the player's guide for those of you that have not seen these before. Player's guide is pretty useful information. It's got cards in uh from the set in here uh, so that you can see which cards are in here as well. And it's got an entire card list, which is very useful so that you can track which cards you have, which cards you're missing. And you can all do that right here in this very nice little booklet. Now the inside, for those of you that have not seen these, the inside of these do have an artwork and uh, it's basically the pack arts. You can use that as a poster really cool little deal here now this is the exclusive uh etb from pokemon center so there's two different etbs in this set basically they made a, a exclusive one for, for pokemon center and they did one that is the regular one and i'll actually going to show you the difference here between the two this is the regular one and uh and this is the Pokemon Center one, as you can see, it says Pokemon Center on here, and uh, and this one does not. So that's that's one of the differences. The other difference is supposed to be that there are supposed to be 10 packs in the Pokemon Center one. Now, Pokemon Center made a mistake. They, or the Pokemon made a mistake, and they actually just put eight packs in there instead. They kind of made it a regular ETB. It just has an exclusive Pokemon Center uh, logo on it. But here you go. You have rules for those of you that have not seen these before. For those of you that have, uh, we are going to get into the packs. Don't worry. But I do like to show the the new folks that are getting into the hobby uh, what they can expect from these ETBs. So we've got sleeves. Sleeves are always nice to have. You got a packet of energies for playing. You have some dividers because you can use this box really, really well to store your cards and you could put dividers in there however you see fit. So that is a really cool thing. Now, they did put metal dice in here, which is really nice. Uh, this is one of the things that was supposed to be upgraded, right? You normally don't get metal dice. You get plastic ones. They put metal dice in these, so not bad. Uh, I thought that we weren't going to get that because of the error. But we did. And then now we have these giant coins, which uh, are pretty pretty cool. I actually thought I had, a, I had a coin around here to show the difference, but I do not. Uh, but these are much bigger than the usual coins. And then we have the packs. And like I said, you can use this box for storage really, really good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight packs. So as you can see, that is an error box. There were supposed to be 10 packs in there. We got eight. So they are going to do it right. They are going to uh, send out uh, two packs. If you bought these ETDs, they are going to send you two packs um, as well as they are going to send you some promo cards as well. So unless you don't want them and then you can just contact them, let them know you don't want that. You're good with, uh, with that. So if you wanted a refund, you could always return, uh, the, the product. So that's one of the things that they mentioned. Now we did not get anything in this particular pack. Um, there's a Kakuna 
Matata. So it's too bad that they made this error, but at least they're doing a good job of fixing the situation. And I'm okay with that. You know, uh, as long as they, and, and they, they did it preemptively, which is nice. People didn't have to go and complain and be like, oh my God, I'm missing patch. Me, 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 me. They, they did it preemptively. They said, uh, right before it released, they said, we made a mistake. We apologize and we are going to make it right. So I'm very happy about that. And there's a whale wren. No, no, uh, no hit there. Melanie, Brawley, and a, uh, code. For those of you that play the TCGO, um, you know, it's nice to get a little code every once in a while. Now, of course, the code only works for one uh, one time only. So one of you lucky folks is going to be able to grab that. Steeny, and there's an Inteleon Hollow. So very nice. We finally got ourselves a holographic card. There's another Melanie, a Cybold, and there's a code for you guys. All right, getting into another pack. Now, these uh, this set is really nice. It's got some beautiful cards in it, some beautiful alternate arts. Uh, it, Pokemon's been making some fantastic alternate arts. Now, the pull rates have not been very, very good with this particular set. The last couple of sets have been tough, and the, the toughness continues here with this ETB, like I mentioned. So, uh, there's Honey and a code for you guys. At the very least... I'm giving out you some codes. You guys are getting to see a cool opening. Hopefully, we'll get a pull here. We still have some packs left to go. So, it's, uh, you know, it could could very well be that we have uh, some pulls coming in. So, we'll see. We have a coughing. We have a deli bird, a Galarian Farfetch'd Sobble. And here we go. We got Galarian Articuno V. So, we finally got ourselves a pull. And uh, that is a ultra rare. So, not bad. We got ourselves that ultra rare there we got a hollow as well so we got two pulls so far of course the hollow does count as a uh as a as a pull so you know that that's pretty awesome here you go we're gonna sleeve this up i had where did my good sleeves go i had some good sleeves i had some good sleeves where are my good sleeves there we go I don't like these. Uh, I bought these inner sleeves and some of them fit really, really tight. I am not a fan because it is very easy to bend the card while you're trying to put it into the sleeve. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of these inner sleeves um, from uh, BCW. So uh, usually very nice brand. I, I, I normally buy their stuff and it's usually pretty good. But those inner sleeves just, uh, they don't do it for me. It's its very difficult to get the card into it. And uh, and I don't like to, you know, ruin the card. So uh, the whole point of the sleeve is to protect the card, not to ruin them. Now, if, if the cards were a little bit thinner, maybe, then uh, they would slide right in without a problem. But they're not. So there is a uh, uh, Rune Rigus, Rune Rigus holographic. So we got ourselves another pull. Uh, not the best pulls so far, but, uh, you know, I mean, you're getting something. You're getting some pulls. It's better than none. Uh, it could be a lot worse, to be honest with you. So let's uh, get into it. Now, if you guys have not subscribed yet, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hope this video uh, convinces you to subscribe. I do appreciate all of the support from everyone. And uh, also, I do have a Dragon Ball channel where we open up Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, all of the Dragon Ball stuff. We open up all, all that stuff over there, and uh, the link to that is in the description, as well as a link to our podcast. I'm teamed up with four other awesome content creators, and we make a weekly podcast every Monday. A podcast comes out where we're talking news, we're talking all of the cool stuff that Pokemon's coming out with flesh and blood. We're talking about all the different TCGs, collectibles, things that we want to collect that we love, and we want to share that with you guys. So make sure you check the podcast out. That is down in the description. We are also making uh, just about daily videos, whether they're shorts or uh, they they you know just a, a little review or tutorials, that kind of stuff. We're doing that almost daily. 
and uh, we're just making a lot of good content on there for you guys. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, if you're not into the podcast, you can watch all the other videos that we do. If you are into the podcast and you're not into the other videos, you can watch the podcast. We we really appreciate all of the support. And there's a Galarian Surfetched and a Survival. So that pack didn't really have very much in it. Unfortunately, this ETB wasn't the best ETB, uh, but we did get an ultra rare and a couple of holographic uh, cards. So not terrible, not the best. Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, the pull rate is not very good in this set. Um, it might be one of those good sets to just buy the singles that you really want and then save up for that 25th anniversary celebration set which is going to be coming out in October I'm so looking forward to that uh and Evolving Skies is also going to be coming out soon uh that's going to be a really cool looking set too but uh, if you love Chilling Rain go for it you know um just know that the pull rates have not been the best now I do want to thank every single one of you for hanging out with me. I am going to open up that other ETB for another video. So make sure you check that video out when it comes out. If you hit the subscribe button, you won't miss it. And I will see you guys in the next one. And make sure you check this video out right over here. Later.